the crank and if you're young, get that flow Don't think so, shake them off the bed though A pound overdrawn, you less than zero Shoes, clothes, cars, pros I'm the flies, young fella, you know Your girl thinks Hey now, what's up, your boy Doug J I'm at Six Man AKA Kev right here And the man behind the scene always doing his thing, pushing buttons My man Super Smith Yeah We back, I know y'all like, where Quaz at? You know, well we tried to do some contractual stuff, it, it didn't work out. And yeah, <laughs> it's like, nah, but Quad's still here, Spirit here, drop in. Um, you know, we're giving a show topic from behind the scenes, things like that. But, uh, Kev, let me know about you for a second. I mean, I'm just doing me right now, man. I got the podcast going. Um, I got a couple t shirts on sale. Um, I'm just trying to get in where I fit in. I ain't trying to do nothing, make no noise. All right, man, my man from Southeast, like me, so it's all Southeast off of here. Sue, what we got going on, baby? All right, so it's, uh, been a little issue with the uh, Virginia governor. What's his name? Ralph Northam. Ralph Northam. Gotta be him. So apparently when he was in medical school, he had uh, in his yearbook a picture of someone because the day I think he's come out and say neither one of them is him. Yeah. In the KKK. It was him. Right. In the KKK outfit and blackface. What y'all think about that? I mean, well, I look at it like this, right? When you're younger, sometimes you do things you don't mean to do, right? However, it's a lot of black men out here that have done things when they were young and they still paying for it to this day. So he said it wasn't him, then he said he did dress up as Michael Jackson right. another time and they ain't had pictures he of He said him. he dressed up as Michael Jackson. Yeah, right. he said he did blackface Michael Jackson. Like, mm. you know, like that was the end thing to do at the time. But like I said, even if he apologized, he could be very well sorry. But it's a lot of black men and other minorities out here that pay for stuff they done did when they were 17, 25. And they still paying for when they trying to get jobs now. So I think he need to leave and let that young black dude, uh, the lieutenant governor, go in there and do his thing. I think that's the issue, though. I think that that's why he trying to backtrack and do what he's doing now. Because he know the next man up is a black man. I think that's why he kind of in, in the zone that he in right now. You know what I mean? Because I feel like for me, when I first heard it, I was like, this happened in 1984. Like, can you imagine, can you imagine if we went back to every politician that we did like? Because mind you, think about it, it only came out after he made the comments about the abortion back. Well, I mean, somebody had that, that, that you know, you playing spades, they got that last book to cut you, that's what they had with him. So, yeah. I mean, I just look at it like, you know, yeah, he can apologize, yeah. yeah. But go, keep it moving. Yeah, keep it moving. Go, you know, as from a public civilian now. But people want him to resign. You think I mean, he should resign? I mean, yeah, he should resign. I mean, the excuses that he giving, like, now they they everywhere. At first it was you, now it's not you, but I did do it, but you ain't got no pictures <laughs> so on me. Now, that's, that's the only problem I, I have with, uh, is, is him, is the uh, inconsistency yeah, that like it was him, it's not him. You know what I mean, I mean I'm, I'm like this, too. man. If you look at anybody's past and take a snapshot, one moment, one moment, I mean, you're going to have things that come up exactly. and people are going to be like, oh, hold on, what happened what, with what this? What happened with I that? Agree. Yeah. I agree. You you a cool dude. You 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 all right with everybody, but this one instance, oh, you need to resign. You need to be done. But we're not politicians. Yeah, you're right. You know, they, they right. held to a different standard than, you know, you they and I. They human like us, though. They you are, but they're politicians. They like us every day, right? But they politicians. They, they held to a different standard. So you don't think he should be forgiven? You think... You no, think you he be should forgiven. be out of office? No, yeah, you could be forgiven, but you know, be forgiven from your house and not at the state, representing that state as a mm. public, I mean, as a uh, senator, so he need to go. So every white person that mm -hmm. comes out, and if they said the N-word, if they if they've made a derogatory comment towards a minority group, they should just be cutthroat? Like, that's it? That's it for them? I mean... I mean, how often black people gotta be forgiven all the time? You know what I mean? Like, oh, I mean, minorities in general. You know. Okay, well, the same thing just happened with Kevin Hart with yeah, the gay community. With the gay community. I mean, it's it's. And it's, Ellen brought him on the show and said, I it "Like this, you should." How would people perceive? How would people feel? They, you know, how they take his uh, apology? Then that's how they do. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm cool, like you know, I, I'm good with it. You know, he apologized. It was 25 years, 30 some years ago. Let's move on. People do grow. I'm not saying they don't grow. But I'm like, everybody's not a politician, you know what I mean? That's true. All right, man, you heard my side, you heard Kev's side, you heard Soup's side. Always keep it locked on the Super Session, y'all.